out shed hunting today. It's the last day of January 2014. That was nice to get out of the house a little bit, get some fresh air and see if we can't find an antler or two. I got my dogs out here with me. The trusty lab doesn't leave my side very far, but I got an English pointer and who knows where she's at, but she's having a good time. Uh, it's always fun to get out here and, and try to find a few antlers. Um, but I was thinking today, as I, as I was walking around here, I was thinking of the, the word hunter and what it means to be a hunter. I'm out shed hunting today. You know, hunting is, or hunter is such a broad term. And I was thinking about how many different types of, of hunting, you know, that, that encompasses. Uh, I started squirrel hunting when I was 12 or 13 with my buddies. And then we gradually moved into pheasant hunting and then duck hunting and, and deer hunting. So, so the word to be a hunter is, is a broad, you know, it's a, a broad term that, that means, you know, a bunch of different activities that you can do. I mean, you could you can hunt mushrooms. You can so it doesn't necessarily mean to go out and, and shoot an animal um, to be a hunter. And uh, I was I was going back and forth with that. We have a men's Bible study that, that we get together on on Monday nights, and we're in the Book of Acts right now. And uh, you know it talks about Peter, and and Peter's the first one to really preach in the new church. And you know literally thousands were were accepting Christ and becoming followers of Christ at that time. But when we got to when we got to Acts chapter six, um, something really jumped out at me here. I flipped right to it, wouldn't it? Anyway, um, Acts chapter six, the very first verse said, "In those days when the numbers of disciples was increasing, it didn't say in those days when the number of Christians was increasing." And and that really hit me because I guess I I, I thought of a Christian as this big big umbrella term that uh, you become a Christian and then you become a pastor or then you become you know all these these other um, things underneath the Christian umbrella and, and a disciple was one of them uh, I guess I, I thought that you had to have a certain amount of knowledge before you could start sharing about Jesus and, and that's so wrong um, and even further on in, in chapter 6, it says it again. I think it's in verse number 7. Verse number 7 says, So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly. Again, it doesn't say it doesn't say the number of Christians in Jerusalem uh, increased rapidly. It said the number of disciples. And so I looked up the word disciple and tried to find out exactly what that meant. And the word disciple means to teach. Uh, and to share about your faith in Christ and what what Christ has done for you, and um, I, I I miss that. So uh, you know, it's it's no matter where you are in your relationship with Christ, whether you accepted Him for the first time last week, or you've been a follower for forty years, uh, it's it's time to share your faith uh, in Jesus and what He's done for you. Uh, and I've, I've probably missed out on lots of opportunities like that because because I feel like I don't know enough. You know, I'm not a Bible scholar. I don't know enough about the Bible and and uh, I guess maybe afraid to lead somebody astray. I don't know necessarily the reasons. There's there's lots of different reasons. I, fear is probably a big reason. Fear of, of rejection or this, this, of failure. But uh, I just want to be... I want to encourage you to, to get out there and share your faith because there is no failure. When you're serving Christ... Um, you're not going to fail. So, you know, people may people may turn away from you. People may think you're crazy, but that's okay. Uh, we've got Christ, and He's right there to pick us up when we fall. So again, I just I hope uh, I hope that these these videos are encouraging to you, and I appreciate you watching them. And uh, if there's any questions that we can ever answer, or anything concerns that we can help with, uh, get a hold of us. My email is Marcus at TrinityArchery.com, and Scott, the other guy that does that does a lot of these is scott at trinityarchery.com. We'd love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching.